Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon the master of martyrs, Imam Hussein, and welcome brothers and sisters to Shia Waves. Your uncle Muhammad Abdul Mahdi here to present the latest news and now the headlines. The Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Shirazi releases a statement condemning the terrorist attack on Imam Sadiq Mosque. Saudi Arabia launches new airstrikes against Yemen. And Muslims deplore France factory attack. The eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, has released a statement condemning the aggression against the worshippers in Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, mosque, which resulted in the martyrdom and wounding of a group of fasting believers, describing the attack as a tragedy that will not be forgotten. In the statement, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Shirazi said that such disasters are a source of pride to the followers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, and they are a warning to the oppressors as their oppression will end soon. His Eminence prayed for patience of the bereaved families of the victims and a quick recovery of those injured in the savage attack. The so-called Islamic State terrorist group claimed responsibility for the attack. Bodies of worshippers of Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, mosque, who embraced martyrdom in the latest terrorist attack in Kuwait, have reached the holy city of Karbala before being buried in Wadi as Salam Cemetery in the holy city of Najaf. A funeral ceremony was held with the participation of a large number of clerics, Karbala residents, along with a delegation of the office of the eminent Grand Ayatollah, Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, and representatives of IHTV Group. Ayatollah Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, son of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, has visited the wounded worshippers in the recent Kuwait terrorist attack on Friday, in which several Shias lost their lives. Accompanied by Kuwait officials, His Eminence visited the hospitals where the injured are being treated, wishing for them a speedy recovery. He also extended his condolences to the families of the martyrs, pointing out that the sacrifice of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, is for the sake of raising Islam and the right, and the next days will witness the end of oppression and oppressors. A massive protest was organized by Jami at Yulima Islamia School in Kajil, India against the terrorist attack on a mosque in Kuwait on Friday in which several people lost their lives and many more were injured. Protesters held signs with messages condemning the terrorist group, then marched through Kajil Bazaar and staged a demonstration at Islamia School in Chowk. Clerics said that this terrorist attack in Kuwait is part of the ongoing targeting of Shia Muslims all over the world. Saudi Arabia's deadly air campaign against Yemen continues unabated with the latest Saudi airstrikes targeting the impoverished country's north. Yemeni media reported that Saudi warplanes hit the northern province of Saada more than 15 times. Three civilians also sustained injuries in an attack on Haja province. Separately, the Saudi military fired 15 rockets at the Raza region of Saada. There is still no word on casualties. Reports also said that strikes have targeted two military bases in Saada and the southern province of Lahij. Receiving the shocking news of Friday's attack on a French factory, Muslims rushed to condemn the extremist attack as contradicting with Islamic tenets of peace. Friday's incident occurred around 10 a.m. when reports indicate that two suspects allegedly rammed their way into the U.S.-owned air products gas factory outside of Lyon in southeastern France. Officials found a decapitated body and head, which was covered in Arabic writing, near the factory, but it is unclear if the corpse was transported to the site or the mutilation took place during the attack. There are also reports of a flag with Arabic writing found at the scene. French President Francois Hollande said in a televised address from a summit in Brussels, Belgium, that the incident was a pure terrorist attack. France's attack coincided with over two attacks on Kuwait and Tunisia, which resulted in the death of scores of Muslims on Friday while fasting. the end of our latest news thank you brothers and sisters for listening and always remember our dua may allah hasten the reappearance of our beloved imam al-mahdi peace be upon him wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh